Hello everyone and a warm welcome to you all. This video of a few of our Vancouver songbirds is especially for Jack. He's the grandson of one of my lovely Twitter followers and watches my videos. Here in the forest of wild Vancouver, I often hear birds before I see them. This is an American robin. It's a type of thrush and has one of the loveliest songs. Now this is also a thrush. It's a Swainson's thrush. I think this is one of my favorite songs. Isn't he beautiful? Now this is a woodpecker, a downy woodpecker. Now I don't often hear their song but I can hear them tapping, tapping for insects that are embedded in the bark and tree trunks, often of dead trees. Now this lovely little bird with bright red eyes is a spotted toey. He often calls from the bushes and shrubs along the trails. And this lovely bird is, has a lovely bright red head. It's a male house finch. And they also have a lovely song. He's just making little chippy noises here along the Fraser River. have a pair at home that are nesting outside my front door. Now this is another robin, but have a look at his feathers. Can you see he's got a lot of white feathers coming through? He's called a leucistic. That, the condition is called leucistic when they have white feathers. Now have a look at this lovely bird, it's a cedar waxwing. Can you see at the end of his tail, a little blob of yellow? They're also very noisy birds when they're in huge flocks and they descend on fruit trees. And here eating the seed heads is an American goldfinch. Lovely bright yellow feathers black and white on the wings. Now this is one of the, our loveliest songbirds. They're migratory birds, so we only see them in fall and spring. This is a yellow rumped warbler. And you can hear their little warbling song high in the treetops. They're very hard to catch on film. I just managed this one the other day. Isn't they sweet? Hopping through the branches. This is a song sparrow. Here's another song sparrow. I think he's going to sing for us. It's gorgeous. They're one of our probably most common birds. This is a rufous hummingbird. They fly from Mexico all the way up to Canada and even as far as Alaska to breed in our summer. And they've arrived about a month, month or two ago, in late March and April. Now this bird, the brown-headed cowbird, has one of the loveliest songs I'll show you a bit more of him later. They 
often call when they're displaying for their mates. A white crowned sparrow. We have several different types of sparrows here and they all have their own unique song. Quite lovely to listen to them. And here, eating seed heads, dandelion seed heads, is a gold crown sparrow. Can you see this gold crown on his head? That's why I'm, you must always leave dandelions. Don't mow them or put herbicide down. Just let them grow for the birds. Oh, you have to listen to him. This is a western wood peewee. It's a type of flycatcher. And they have a very unique call. When you hear this call, you know it's a flycatcher. I love these little birds. Now here, another insect eater is the tree swallow. Just look at those iridescent blue feathers. They're normally buzzing through the air, catching insects, but here he is grooming on a branch. And I managed to get a bit of form of him being still. They're lovely. <laughs> Here's a little bit more of a downy woodpecker. If I don't hear them, I can often see them by the, the colours on their feathers. See his little red hat? I managed to spot that and started forming. He's been quite silent here. He's just looking for insects. Now this is another common bird here, a little chickadee. Sitting above the Fraser River again and he's grooming his lovely fluffy feathers. They often make quite a lot of noise and have also have very distinct call that everybody knows. <laughs> another Another lovely song sparrow singing. They must be one of my favourite birds. Beautiful. Now this is a marsh wren. Oh, they also have a very distinct call. You can always hear them in the marshes and reeds. Standing perched on the very top. They're very tiny little birds about the size of my thumb. Now this little sparrow here isn't singing. He's just making little chipping noises. They often make quite different noises. I love listening to them. One of my favourite birds. This is a common yellow throat. Listen. Oh, I love these birds. Now this is the brown-headed cowbird again. I just wanted to show you his feathers. The lovely bronze on his head and then the blue, blue-black feathers shining in the sun. Oh, it's quite beautiful. Now in the future I'll do some more sound videos. This is a, a yellow legs, I think greater yellow legs. They also have a very unique call and I'll do a whole video all about the different sounds they make and different sounds of shorebirds and ducks. You can hear them in the background. Which and, and on your screen right now is a green winged teal and his mate sleepy on a muddy, muddy bank on the Fraser River. Can you see his female is beside him? And in the background you just might be able to hear Canada goose. 
that's my video for you Jack thank you very much for watching I hope you enjoyed it and I'll do some more videos